Welcome everyone to Steel Division 2's tournament. We are starting Season 6 with the first battle of Division 3, Group C. And we will see Kinnig versus opponent Flakes. And so let's go right away and plunge into what division they have taken and uh, what income. So we will see Kinnig using what? <laughs> Third Armored Spearhead. Wow, the cheese is already starting here in Division 3. Uh, it's starting in Force. We will see this division being used with the V for Victory income. So the enemy, not the enemy actually, uh, Kenig will start with 135 points in Phase A every minute. And he will see Phase B supplied with 90 points per minute. And then 160 points for the big finale. And then here we have Flix, commonly known in the game as IL-2, ready for booty busting. And he will be using the 28 Jager and in a balance income. 28 Jager is a off, it's a weird choice I find. Um, maybe he's a, he really knows how to play this division. So, without further ado, let's turn the map and see what our opponents are fielding. Here in the blue side with Flix, we have the 28 Jaeger starting with a Stoop Tree, a Pac-40 and an MG-42. Uh, this is going to go all in this little area here, I imagine. And here we have some flame chores. We have Sturm Jaegers with a Pac-184, 45 millimeter. Uh, yeah, and that's it. These are going to come to contest this little area, maybe even take a couple of guys here. The Flamers could be here, the Storm Jaggers could be here, with the anti-tank maybe here, here, or even here, as we've seen in the past. <coughs> here we have another uh, classic Stug tree being taken with um, with the uh, Scharfschutze, the, how do you call that? Scharfschutze? Anyway. The snipers, and we have some Jaeger infantry. We have Pioneer, uh, Führer, uh, which are the officers. We have another Pack 45, and uh, yeah, that's about it. That's what's gonna go into town here, maybe here as well. Uh, is there a machine gun? Not yet. And here for the attack in the forest, which usually that's where you see the first bits of action happening. Uh, we have here our Pack 40, strong opening. With a fusilier, these are troops with anti-tank grenade, if I don't mistake. We have a officer, one Sturmjager, a bazooka, and another Sturmjager. So, so far this is what we've seen uh, he may had or remove. Like here he removed some and put a machine gun instead. And uh, here on the cheese side, <laughs> we have... Engineers and Avtracks, we have uh, M1917 machine gun, same thing here though, don't know what it's doing here. We have uh, Stuart, we have Recon Half-Track, we got more Stuart, we got more Engineers with Half-Track Flank Tours, uh, we got an M10 Destroyers, we got, whoa, we got the King of Cheese here, the Ke Calliope, already in Phase A, so that means he's going to have one card of them, I, uh, one unit selection of them. Which is far than enough, unless he's got more cards, I don't know. Here, on the forest side, we have two flamethrowers, two engineers half-track with a commander... Oh no, these are leaders, okay. This is... Is it a leader? Yeah, it's one star. So, uh, this is a leader with radio, and we got an M8 recon as well. So, this is what we're gonna be seeing, more or less. I mean, they may... My... They may... My... Well... God, this is a C forgot how to talk in English they might make changes and um, <clears throat> but we will see what's uh, going on here really soon and in fact we're gonna advance the time just a little bit and see this battle as it unfolds Oops, I thought it was starting to go.
Division 3. So these are very good players. I, I I doubt they actually deserve to be in Division 3. I think they deserve to be in 2. But then again, who knows, right? And let's see on the side here of Koenig. So he ended up with an engineer and MG right here. So that's going to be the engineer right here. That's going to be the MG. Uh, Kelly OP is already starting to shoot. Oh, this is a whole lot of cheese there, Koenig. A whole lot of cheese. Um, but we are playing to win. This is the league tournament. After all, there's no place for pity. And um, so this is what's happening now. These troops here, uh, the flame throwers and the machine guns are coming here. The rest are going to be going into town. Some here, some here. Some wow, this is a very aggressive move. So you can imagine th these are the M8 recons or half tracks with recons and Stuart coming here. We will see. Uh, it's a good move to go in the open. Usually, uh, the opponent will have the uh pack 40s around here or just any kind of pack, they'll have them around here or here. You don't see a lot of instant, you know, anti tank guns being deployed here. Uh, or if they do, it'll take some time because they have to cross the forest. So anyway, and here we have a classic deployment. Uh, safe here, aggressive here. This is probably the flamers. Yeah. And from the side of Flix, <coughs> we have a typical safe deployment here. Not a lot of stuff. Not a lot of stuff. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, the, there's, I don't know. That's not a lot of stuff. That's not very aggressive as much as uh, his opponent. We will see what it gives. This here is a regular move as well. Um, you can see he's on move fast order with the blue arrow, and then he's going to unload here. So he's going to come here. He's gonna, his vehicle is going to park, and then he'll move here. So that's a big waste of time, I, I think. Um, but I believe he wanted to make sure that they don't use this road and then cross here to this. Uh, but the opponent here, Koenig, is um, having a strong force here. So I wonder if this is going to be able to survive. The others are coming in here, which is a classic deployment type. And we do have indeed a lot of uh, troops coming here, probably the Sturmjaggers. We have one flamer here. I do believe it's the flamer that's going to come here. There's a flamer going into town, and there's a flamer coming here. Yes, uh, Sturmjagger and Pack 40 is going to be here, the Pack uh, 45. And oh, so we changed that with two Stug here. One that's going to come here to protect, and another that's going to come here to protect as well. So we will see what all of this gives. Let's get ready for the battle, and let's start this. <coughs> Calliope is now taking aim, calculating course trajectory and whatnot. And there you go, the battle have started. And it's not hitting anyone, but he does have a lot of rockets, so maybe he's gonna have time. You can see the opponent has stopped his troops, he's reacted accordingly. Oh, what's happening now? He, sh hmm. he decided to advance them just here, which was almost a mistake, uh, but it's gonna permit this guy to no, not even shoot here. And what do we have here? Troops are... Uh, there's a lot more troops than I thought. They're they making their descent and they're going to start moving, I imagine, soon. They do have the flag, so there's no reason to move right away. Uh, Recons are not doing great here. They're not doing anything. Uh, we do have these guys that are going to come in for the push. There's only a sniper here in the Sturmjager, so I do believe they're going to get uh, destroyed by this here. We will see. Here, both people were able to put uh, themselves into place uh, same thing with below here the flamers are coming in there's other flamers here but they're gonna be supported by these term Jagger but these are already making their moves so okay, maybe they're gonna have enough time and they're getting shot by the MG here so they are a clear disadvantage 
But MG is getting shot by the Stug. Stromjager is gonna die right away, maybe? No, but that was a close one. We have engineers here, so the flamethrowers are gonna be able to weaken the Stromjager, and the engineers are gonna be able to finish them, maybe. Uh, Sniper did not do great. Town is not doing great, but he's still got a foothold here, which is uh, what's important right now for him. Pack 45 is shooting at the machine gun along with the stew, so this is gonna die pretty quick. And uh, this is gonna give him a good advantage here. Um, facing only two flamethrowers here, maybe he's gonna move this two uh, a little closer, who knows. He's decided to test what the enemy has, he's gonna be met with the same and we will see who shoots first is probably going to be the one winning no one shoots first all right well there you have it uh engineer was forced back by the flame chores which is great because flicks need all the help he can get right now there's not a lot of movement here storm Jaggers are going to be uh pretty hard to dislodge especially two star uh, but the M8 Recon starting to make his way. The half track here is starting to make their way as well. We got the Fizzy here with the anti tank grenades. Uh, they don't see much right now, but they, they could stop any advance from uh, tanks or half tracks. He's moving slowly but surely. Reinforcements coming in the form of Stug Tree. Two more Jaggers, some, uh, some uh, Bazooka. He's moved his thug here and he's gonna support town, which is great because he's already got a uh, pack here that's gonna be able to, to defend. And they know there's not gonna be a lot of action here. Both players are gonna be defensive here. Uh, they seem to be doing the same thing around here, concentrating on town. Uh, but he has uh, recons and reinforcement coming in this town, so he's gonna wanna push soon. Calliope is as moved in order not to get killed. They, we have a jumbo already on the map. Uh, these are indestructible from the front. And uh, he's probably going to be coming here. And honestly, he should have taken the jumbo first before the M10. You place the M10 behind the jumbo and then you have a good combo going on. Uh, but this is not what's going to happen here. Um, but the M10 didn't die, so that's always good. I think the Stu Tree would have been able to take the M10. Machine gun starting to make his work on the Jaggers. They cannot shoot back. Uh, they could if they wanted to, but he's uh, just moving them into the house. Now they're starting to have a lot of build up here in this town. Uh, we got we see trees too. Engineers are gonna come back to their charge. They're gonna kill the flamethrowers, but take a lot of damage in the meantime. There's another flamethrower there. And now he's pinned down and he's gonna die. The half track sees the flamethrower and starts shooting at it. Flamethrower looks like uh, it might have moved somewhere. Oh no, he's starting to shoot back. You can see the damage uh, into town from the flamethrowers here. Flamethrowers are pinned down, uh, not much movement here, we have some reserve force. Uh, here, uh, Koenig has successfully taken town. There's still a Fusilier here that could come in and maybe kill the M20, uh, but it's a long shot. So, uh, huh. third US doing what it does best, uh, moving the half tracks forward. There's a Martyr and a Stu here that are going to come in and defend. No use in using the road. He might think they could be a anti-tank gun here or something. So he's going to move on the side and take them by surprise. As Kennedy is not going to move down the road either. The road is the enemy here for both players. Calliope is recharging and is going to make a waste of ammo on this single flame chore here. I think uh, he might, yeah, he's gonna recon first with the aft track maybe, or will he shoot? I would have put this on return fire and uh, recon with the aft track first, uh, but of course that's easier said when you look at the map. 
that way. There's a chance this is not even going to kill the flamethrower. Oh, I did. All right, it did. So now he stops shooting. Waste of ammo, but uh, yeah, he's only got one rocket left. Uh, you could probably try to shoot it here. He's got a P-51D that's going to take come come take care of this uh, pack 45. And there you go. And look at this beautiful plane. Ain't she a beauty? Look at that. Oh, wow. The P-51s are beautiful. But here we have it. So uh, Kinnig has taken back this flag. It's He's taking this flag as well. Uh, Stu here is not doing anything major. He could even get side shot by the M5 uh, at this point. But uh, it's not happening so far. He's going to start making a lot of moves here. He's going to overwhelm this for sure and capture this little area. Um, he's not being too aggressive here to take back the flag. He's bringing a flamethrower. Flamethrower! <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a early morning here. Is uh, could win against the armed rifle, and um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Town is slowly starting to get into Flick's control. He could advance and be a little bit more aggressive, especially seeing as he's lost uh, both flags here on the side. He's gonna lose town as well soon. Storm Jaggers are getting uh, shot by the M3. TNT is going to cheat. No, he misses his shot. There's a Stuart half track push here that's going to take care of any reinforcement coming. Maybe even kill the Flak 43, which is going to be devastating if it does happen. 1410 for Koenig in phase A. Two minutes to phase B. We already see the Doc making his appearance. He's gonna try to kill uh, what? The Aftrax or the M10 destroyers? Yeah, the M10 destroyers, but I think he's gonna lose line of sight and he's gonna be forced to fall back. Because these Aftrax, believe it or not, they are actually quite efficient here. Especially at lower altitude, so uh, this is gonna be useless. Uh, I mean, Kinnick doesn't even need AA. He's got half tracks. All right, so we got a good thing going on here. The M5 destroyed by Flix. He's gonna move just a little bit to try to get this half track as well. P51 making another run here. And it pinned down the Storm Yager, which is now retreating. Uh, we see the first airplane here is going to get shot down by M3A1. Not doing as much damage as the other one. Oh shit, we have a crew killed by the Stu here. That's uh, the M10 destroyed it, that's for sure. And transmission damage for the Martyr 2. This is quite a devastating blow for Flix, which is now 59 for Koenig. Pack 40 is now engaging the M1917, which uh, this is pretty bad. is probably going to die real soon. Uh, yeah, you see the suppression bar is getting uh, whew, it's getting damaged. Fokker Wolf here is going to be forced to retreat because of all of these half-tracks on the map. I don't know why Flix did not ban the third US. Uh, this is something you want to ban absolutely. Always ban this division because there's always going to be people like Koenig, Désolé, Falèche Lézis, <laughs> that are going to take that. And... Um, I mean, it's uh, it's fair play, right? You don't ban third US, expect people to take it. Uh, but at this point in the game, there is so much, so much division uh, that it's hard to ban them all. <coughs> it's really hard to ban all the OP and the meme divisions. We see here the first uh, anti-air coming in. These are deadly if you run over them because they got the machine guns. Uh, but otherwise, they're, they're a good piece of artillery. They're not going to kill without veterancy unless the plane goes directly over them, is what I found out. There's a jumbo here. Uh, the M10 looks like it died right here. 1410 for Koenig. Flix was able to take a, another flag. I think this one here. He could push a little bit more, but uh, he's being cautious. Um, Unfortunately, because there's nothing here. 
He's managed to capture this little area. Uh, he should probably try to grab this, but uh, he doesn't know. There could be a lot of... There could be some infantry here that's going to shoot at him. Oh, but there you go. He's trying... He has to try for it. It's another flag in his favor. Uh, we see the duck again trying to go kill the imp and destroyer. He's going to get suppressed. Oh, there you go. He captured this flag. And he... There you go. Shoot again. And he kills the M10. It's going to be able to retreat safely. Uh, oh, shit. He had to do a different maneuver to escape that plane that came out of nowhere. Where is that plane? We don't know where the plane is, so now it's hard to evade. The pile is going to do his best to come back home. There's the enemy plane over there. It's being shot down by AA. Uh, oh, shit. There's other action here coming in. The pilot doesn't see that and he's making his way back. But there was... Uh, oh, that... That was support planes here. There was a Farquhar fighter bomber and a fighter uh, covering the HS. The P-51s are going to retreat. Uh, almost died here. 13, 11, 4, flakes. And at this point... Uh, It's going to be very hard to come back to. But in we are in phase B. And Kenig now has 90 points to Flix. 135 points. So he's going to have a lot of chances of um, taking back. Here we see a stock tree facing a jumbo. At this range uh, maybe. But I doubt it. I doubt this is going to kill the jumbo. Uh, he could probably shoot all day and not achieve much. I don't know why he retreats. Uh, maybe he's seen that uh, he was penetrated. He could have just stayed there all day long, I think. Uh, he hasn't used this Calliope much. He's got no supply, it looks like. Um, or maybe there's no use after phase A that he thinks. Uh, although Calliope shot here would be a great addition to his uh, plan. With the Jagger, he briefly captured that, which makes it 12-12, which is a great move. Uh, but he's going to lose that right now. There you go. So now it's back to 59. He's lost this flag as well. P-51 making another run. These are going to be extra annoying. They are already for sure. Killing. Oh, no. Not even killing. Wow. That's bad. And, um, now we have 80 guns on this ridge. It's going to be extremely hard to take back the field. Uh, almost impossible now. Uh, with the 28 Jagger, he doesn't. I don't think he has lots. And uh, he's bringing some anti hair, another Stug tree. Stug tree died here. We don't see it anymore. There is a pack 40 exchanging guns with the jumbo, so this is not gonna work. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much impossible to destroy these. It is damaged though, you can see it as the uh, repair icon. And there you go. Flix abandons. He knows there's not much he can do right now. And uh, so this is this is uh this is game. We have the winner, Colonel Koenig. Six eighty-five kills to seven seventy. So you can see that uh, Flix incurred a lot more losses. Well, a lot more. You know, he incurred more losses, but Kenny was still able to win. Let's go see. Oh no, we cannot see their profile. But these are very, very good players. Let's look at the kill count. There's only one page here. Not a lot. Uh, not a lot. But the uh, trees too. That was uh, deadly for phase A. And I think he lost some of these in phase B actually. But anyway. And, uh, but everything he had could not destroy the, um, the jumbos. So that was a big problem. Unless for side shot. But uh, yeah. Here, here's the kill list for Kenig. I mean for Flix. So you can see he killed a lot more, but uh, still lost. His Martyr Tree, his Martyr 2 did uh, poorly, but I guess he killed what was in front of him. 
So there you go, guys. Uh, this was the first battle of season six. And I only have access to Division 3 and Division 1. Division 1 is going to get covered batshit crazy by all the pro streamers and YouTubers. And so I don't think I'm going to bother with Division 1. I think I'm going to concentrate on what I can, which is Division 3. I have access to all Division 3 replays. And I think I'm going to try to do my best to cover them uh, as much as I can. So during the weekend, for me, it's easy. I am going on paternity leaves in two weeks. Uh, I'm getting a baby the <laughs> disclaimer so that's gonna give me more time to do videos but then again maybe not it's my first child so I don't know exactly what to expect uh, but I believe I'll have at least time for a couple of videos per day in order to cover all of division 3 um, battles so I hope you liked it I'm gonna start working on the second battle of these players so stay tuned have a good day and I'll see you during the next battle. Goodbye.